About two weeks ago was Formula Drift St. Louis. That was my third Pro 2 competition that I've ever competed in. Um, second round for this year. I ended up doing one round last year, which was Seattle, which was the only one I could afford at the time. It was my third second place in a row, so I'm feeling super stoked on that. Uh, we're sitting in second place in the championship, of course, uh, right behind my good buddy Travis Reeder. But um, it came at a price. Um, I ended up destroying basically the whole front end of my car. Fiberglass bumpers, done so. Side skirts are done front fenders are done. So um, today, uh, I just got a big huge box from my buddies over at 2F Performance. So they were nice enough to hook it up with a new front bumper and new side skirts. And then I got these Origin Type 3 front fenders. Um, and then, so basically, I didn't have enough budget to bring my car back from St. Louis and then take it over to Texas. So it ended up staying over there. So it's in Texas right now. Um, so I gotta get all this stuff prepped up, painted, and then sent over to Texas so I can put it on so I'm not driving a Skeletor looking car. Um, so that's what we got going on. I just got to whip this box open and see what the stuff looks like. Go and drop it off at paint. Make sure that my whip is looking fly for the next round. God dang! Look at that! Dude, it's like Christmas. This box is huge. Oh, yes! I love the 2F side skirts. Looks so sick on S chassis. Frig yeah, brand new freshies, dude. Just need to look, get a little paint on them, huh? What do we got here? Yes! Super Duke stickers. Dope. The reason I need new body panels for my 240 is because I came up a little bit close on Interclip 3 on that track in St. Louis. Uh, if anybody was watching that, it was a very, very, very big link trying to make it around um, that third Interclip like I was talking about. Um, everything was going good, and as the day went on, we were hitting it faster and faster because we were getting more and more confident. So. Um, as we started going faster, I was running out of wheel speed, so I was bumping the rev limiter. I transferred to the passenger side, um, full throttle, dead to the floor. It bumped the limiter one time. Um, it ran out of that little bit of wheel speed, pulled me in a little bit farther than I wanted to, and then it just pushed me that like one foot farther in than I wanted to be. Um, and that's what ultimately ended up making me hit that inner clip. Um, I didn't even know that the whole front end of my car was destroyed. Uh, you can see I'm looking passenger side, so I didn't even see it, but in one of the videos that I have, you can see the fender go flying off by the window. someone or into anything necessarily it was just hitting an inner clip at about 85 miles an hour I mean that'll even just like a light little plastic clip you're going that fast and um, that fiberglass doesn't stand a chance so that's why I need new panels I am really excited to get those body panels dropped off of paint but before I get to play with those um, I have to finish up this cage in my good friend Chris Forsberg's 350z um, this is the car they did a NOS commercial with um, they made it look like his race car and then they ran it through a mango stand for a NOS Nitro Mango video um, so this is also the car that's in the $25,000 build off for the Blackout Garage series. So uh, they hit me up and asked me if I do a cage in this thing. So it's like 98% done I would say. Basically all we have to do now is make these sweet little gussets for these door bars. Um, so it's a little bit time consuming but I'm kind of going to go over how I do it. Um, just kind of show you guys what's up. But uh, pretty pumped on this thing. It's looking pretty solid. Before I get to play with my 2F stuff. It is work time. I am going to make these out of cardboard first. So I have, or not cardboard, I guess I should say poster paper. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of drop a little template, see if it fits, and then I gotta make a couple of them, and I'll show you how I weld them all together and make them look kind of sick. All right, so I have here the world's worst pair of scissors. Hopefully it'll actually even cut this uh, cardboard out. So this is the basic template that we're working with here. I've done this a couple times before, so I kind of know what it's gonna look like. Uh, I'm gonna cut it out and then see how well it fits. Okay. 
crap scissors coming through for us. Let's see what we got here. So now, this thing kind of just sits in there something like that. I like to call these taco gussets. And then you just kind of bend it around and that's sort of what we're working with there. Uh, you basically just do two of these per side. So we'll do one, transfer this over to metal, cut this out, transfer it over to metal again. Then you have a front and a back one, right? And then you basically just weld it right down the middle, grind it down perfectly smooth, and then weld the whole thing out top and bottom so you don't know that it's made out of two pieces. So a little bit of a cheat for you. So I'm gonna transfer this onto metal and then cut it out. All right, all four traced out. I'm about to fire up the old plasma cutter, get them cut out. I'll probably just cut out the square. Oh yeah, plasma cutters are so sick. Nice clean cut. Now that we got our sick little plates cut out, all I have to do is just bend them around something round so that I can make the little taco gusset fit around in there like real sweet. So I like to bend it around something that's just a little bit smaller than the tube that we're welding it to. So in this case, the tube that we're welding it to uh, for the full cage is an inch and a half. So I found this broomstick here. It seems to be about the right size, um, between about an inch, inch and eighth, something like that. So basically, I'm just gonna bend this thing right around it um, and that's gonna give us that sweet little gusset that we're looking for. So it doesn't fit perfect just yet. So we kind of got to grind these corners down, uh, kind of grind these little edges down here to make it so it fits real nice and sweet. And then we basically just take the other one, slide it in from the other end, and then kind of like have them meet in the middle and then weld it down the middle, grind it flush, and then weld the whole thing out top and bottom. But we got a little bit of grinding to do, but that's okay. That's to be expected. After a little bit of whittling and grinding, I think we finally got them to look pretty sweet. Kind of a little bit of a tedious process, but I don't know, it, I, I think it's the sweetest door bar there is. Uh, it's the kind of door bars that they make you run in stage rally, so anything that has to do with stage rally, you know it's gotta be strong, so. This is what we're working with here. Pretty stoked. So basically now, I just drug the welder over here, so I'm gonna make sure these are lined up just right. I'm gonna weld this little seam right there. Uh, and then before I do anything else, I'm gonna grind it down perfectly smooth so it looks like this is one piece of metal, and then just start weld that whole thing, weld that whole thing, um, then you can't even tell it looks like one piece. So that's the goal right now. Is one piece of metal. Can't even tell. Uh, sack.
Man, I feel like I get super stressed out every time I do that. Burn my fingers a little bit, but it's part of the game. Turned out pretty sick. Fairly happy with it. Pretty clean looking. And more importantly, super, super strong. Whoop, whoop. Ah, yay. Almost done. Literally just finished burning the last bit of it in. So this cage is officially done. Cage number 22, 24, I don't even remember. They all blur together after a while. Man, I tell you what though, those, uh, those door bars, they definitely look sweet, but man, I forget every time how much work actually goes into them. It just takes a while, but feeling good though. Got it all done. This side's looking pretty sweet. Nice. Yeah, really feeling this one. Gotta give my boy Chris a nice cage. Gonna make sure it's proper. Make sure it's gonna keep my boy safe. There it is. Come and get it, Mr. Chris. On to the next one. Shoo. Another cage under the old belt. Feels good to have it done. Gotta get it back to my buddy Chris. Uh, actually, first time I have completed a cage in about a year, so kinda good to get my feet wet again. Felt good to get it done. Either way, we'll plan on doing some more stuff like that, but um, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Anyways, catch you guys next time.